let me move on to the second problem only difference is I have added one more span here for the same type of problem without any change in I and span also all of them are 12 meters first span is loaded with UDL of 40 kilo Newton per meter second with an unsymmetrical load on the span of 120 kilo Newton at 4 meters from left 8 meters from right and for the third span I have a UDL again on the span of 20 kilo Newton per meter. So how many degrees of freedom now? Same condition here whenever you get a continuous beam neglect the horizontal translations that is no axial deformation assuming that is because we assume that the length of the members a b b c c d does not change so you do not get any horizontal movement at a b c and d since I have supported a b c and d you do not get vertical movements also it is held it is restrained and at a you do not get any movement including rotation whereas you will get the rotation at B, C and D. So you have 3 degrees of freedom of course to be clarified you can put it in the bracket neglecting axial deformation. So 3 degrees of freedom which are these 3 degrees of freedom you have to note it now that is rotation at B, rotation at C and the rotation at D, theta B, theta C and theta D. So assume the coordinate directions along the three unknown deformations theta b, theta c and theta d that to represent that coordinate directions now I will put it only the beam without any loads here. This is the given beam and if we take this coordinate directions let me put it at B in the clockwise direction I already told that we have to assume in the clockwise and rotation at C as coordinate direction 2 at C D coordinate direction 3 all these 3 represents the direction of the probable rotations you may get negative then your assumed direction is wrong but generally for coordinate directions we start from the positive values. So this is the directions of coordinates. What is the difference between the first problem and this problem now? Now the coordinates are 3 now so your n value is equal to 3 in this case. Number of degrees of freedom n is equal to 3 so stiffness matrix will be of the size 3 cross 3 so totally you need to find 9 elements out of the 9 3 will be the leading diagonals other 3 will be equal and opposite to the rest of the 3. So with these 3 conditions now as the first step we have discussed that we need to calculate the fixed in moments to find out your force matrix. So before that your deformation matrix matrix D will be of a column matrix with 3 values D1, D2 and D3 which are this D1, D2 and D3 they are nothing but your theta b, theta c and theta d. They are nothing but your degrees of freedom. And to find out the force matrix your P1L, P2L, P3L and of course you do not have any applied moment here that you can eliminate the first part of your force matrix. So AB, MF AB equal to MF BA that is equal to minus 40 into L square is 12 square divided by 12. So it will be equal to 480, 12 four, 480 kilo Newton meter. Since it is symmetrical, both are same minus and plus. Coming to next span, MFBC is separate than MFCB because they are two 
unsymmetrical loading on the span BC now. So, MFBC is equal to minus equation is WA B square by L square. All these things are well versed with you. 1, 2, 3, all the chapters we require these terms. Minus W is 120, A is left hand side distance, B is 8 square divided by 12 square. It comes to around 213.333 kilo Newton meter. If you take MF CB, it is W A square B by L square plus 120 into 4 square into 8 divided by 12 square. So it is 106.667 kilo Newton meter. And the last span is again subjected to uniformly distributed load over the entire span. So MFCD equal to minus MFDC, it is minus 20 into 12 square divided by 12. So it is minus 240 kilo Newton meter. So therefore now we need to find out the values of the force matrix, second part. P1L along the coordinate 1, what is the moment induced is to these two loads on left and right of the span. So it is MF BA plus MF BC because at B, BA is meeting and BC is also meeting. It is the combination of MF BA plus MF BC. MF BA is plus 480, MF BC is minus 213.333. So 480 minus 213.333, it is equal to around 266.667 kilo Newton meter. And on the same lines at C, P2L, that corresponds to coordinate 2 here, there are two members are meeting CB and CD, it is MFCB plus MFCD. So MFCB plus MFCD, MFCB is 106.667 plus minus 240, it is MFCD, so it is equal to now minus 133.333 kilo Newton meter. And the last coordinate 3 that is P3L, that is the direction of the coordinate 3 here, moment induced assuming as a fixed BAM is only MFDC here, it is MFDC is equal to plus 240 kilo Newton meter. So these are the fixed end moments. Using the fixed end moments, you could get the part of the your force matrix. It is P1L, P2L, and P3L. And of course, we know that since in the given problem we don't have any couple applied at B, C, and D, all of them are zero. So P1 minus P1L, P2 minus P3L, and P3 minus P3L. You can easily calculate. So, to substitute into your stiffness relation, let me find out your coefficients of the stiffness matrix on the same procedure what we did in the previous case. So, to develop stiffness matrix. That is your K, the size is 3 cross 3 because N is 3 here. So first step, you will get 3 columns in that matrix because it is 3 cross 3. So I need to make, there are 3 steps here involved to find out the 3 elements of the first column, second column and 
third column. Let me apply or provide unit since it is a couple, it is rotation, not deflection, unit rotation at coordinate 1 along the coordinate 1. So if you provide that and keeping other joints are all fixed here, the first column you can identify by providing a unit rotation along the coordinate 1, I have provided here, I have rotated through an angle equal to 1 unity and whereas other points A is already fixed, B, C, D, you have to fix them after the rotation and the span is 12 meters. To develop the first element of the first column K11, in this case what we develop here, whatever the force developed due to this unit rotation at all other coordinates that we have to find out including the coordinate where we apply the rotation. So this is force developed in turn force in this case it is particularly moment developed at 1 in the circle it means coordinate 1 due to unit rotation along 1. Both of them are same, coordinate is also same, even the force also what we are finding along the same thing. So that is equal to now, developed at 1 means the one point the coordinate is connected by member AB and BC, so that one rotation will apply on either side. Once you rotate the member at B, it rotates in the clockwise direction BA and as well as BC that is shown here, theta B and theta B. So near end moment here where you applied the equation is generally it is MBA plus MBC since you do not have any other load or other things except this rotation it is equal to 4 EI by L is 12 plus 4 EI divided by L is 12 BA and BC. So 4 plus 4 8 EI by 12. That means it is 2 EI by 3. Let me take K21, it is the moment developed at 1 or 2, moment developed at coordinate 2 due to same thing, unit rotation along the coordinate 1. So here your coordinate 2 is your rotation at C now, again here also it is connected by two members CB and CD. But look at this problem here, once you rotate at B, keeping other points as fixed, there will be no effect of this rotation on the adjacent span. Adjacent to this joint there will be effect whereas coming to the next span it does not have any effect. So only it will be the moment developed at C because of the rotation at B it is MCB not MCD. But to be specific we need to write both the terms MCB plus MCD here we can put it equal to 0 because it does not have any effect there. So this is far end where the moment is applied it is equal to 2. EI span is 12, so it is EI by 6. If you take the last element of the first column, K31, K31 is the rotation at a D, so moment developed at coordinate 3 due to unit rotation given along the coordinate 1. So what is this effect now? So whatever the moment developed at D because of the rotation at B we are finding now already told in this case its effect will not be transferred to this span adjacent span of this where nearing span CD does not have any effect there will be no moment induced at D so it is equal to that means 
your m c sorry d c is equal to zero so the coordinate coefficients other than the diagonal can be zero so it is equal to zero so let me develop the next column of the stiffness matrix to find out the elements of the second column i need to provide unit rotation along the coordinate to as shown the figure so that figure we can put it again here d is fixed a is fixed b is also fixed the rotation i have to give it at c and then block it clockwise rotation it rotates in the clockwise direction zero here the same rotation and zero here that means here theta c equal to 1 it is fixed so in, in the rigid condition only the moment will be developed at that particular point of course spans are 12 meter each same steps now it is k12 you can write the explanation for this k12 now it is moment developed at coordinate 1 that is your first subscript of this coefficient due to unit rotation along which is the next coefficient or a subscript here it is 2 that comes here it is along the coordinate 2 it's simple if you just practice you will get it so it is equal to now which is this one here one is the rotation at b here coordinate so it is connected by ab and bc so both the moments i have to put mba plus mbc no rotation in ba because it is adjacent span to this bc where it is rotated you don't get mba it is equal to 0 and mbc the moment developed at b since i have rotation at the end c it is the far end so it becomes 2 ei by span is 12 so it is ei by 6 once you are well versed with the system you don't need to calculate this you can observe now what is the value of k21 it is ei by 6 so it is also equal to k21 once you have confidence enough you don't need to find out this directly you can go to next step that is k22 in the case of k22 what it is now it is again moment developed at coordinate 2 and this part is same due to unit rotation along the coordinate 2 so is it the coordinate 2 it is the rotation at c connected by cb and cd the same thing here it is m cb plus m c d these equations will not change in the next column also same thing m b a plus m b c m c b plus m c d and the last one is m d c so here since both of them have a effect of this rotation now unit rotation at c towards b unit rotation at c towards d it both of the near end cases 4 e i by l is 12 4 e i by l is 12 so it is 8 ei by 12 that is equal to 2 ei divided by 3 so let us move to k 32 second column last element k 32 is moment developed at 
coordinate 2, same thing will repeat again because of the moment or unit rotation given along the coordinate. Sorry, make a correction here. This is 3. First subscript is 3, second is 2 here. Moment developed at coordinate 3 due to unit rotation along the coordinate 2. The same equation what you have written in the first case, it is MDC only. You have to check whether the value is there or not. In this case, you have a value because the same span is rotated at the far end. Now, this becomes your far end. D is equal to 2 EI divided by L is 12. So, it is EI by 6. And the next column elements now, the third column, we got already 6 now. I have repeated all the 6 here. Let me take it third case. You have to provide unit rotation along the coordinate 3. If you give unit rotation along the co coordinate 3 now, so that is A is fixed, B is also fixed, C is also fixed. Only at D, if you give rotation, it rotates in the clockwise direction. And your theta D equal to 1 and it is fixed, 12 meters. Since the end support D is rotated, it does not have effect on the adjacent span C, B and as well as B. Whatever the values, it will be constrained to only that particular span C, D. K, 1, 3. What is the explanation for 1, 3 now? The same thing you have to repeat, only change is these two values. Moment developed at 1 due to unit rotation given along the coordinate 3. It is moment developed at coordinate 1 due to unit rotation along 3. K13, K1, 1 refers to this rotation at B, the moment developed at B because of the rotation at D. Definitely we know there will be no effect, so it will be equal to 0. It means it has a value of MBA plus MBC. I told you in the beginning that it does not change. These values you can keep it same. Whatever the values will come in the problem that can be put 0 plus 0 that is equal to 0. You can go back to the first case you have written provide unit relation along 1. It is K31 is equal to 0. So, this is equal to now K31. Three one K I J equal to K J K two three moment developed at two due to unit rotation along three. So again it is 2 means the rotation at C now, it is the combination of MCB plus MCD. It is MCB plus MCD that is equal to because it ha does not have any effect on this side. Here it is the far end of this particular case 2A by 12, it is EA by 6, you can see now 2, 3 is equal to 3, 2, EA by 6, so it is K. So, once you are conversant with this system, you do not need to calculate this and as well as this. First you got 3, 4, 5 and the last one is 6, only 6 elements, other 3 are equivalent. So, K33 is now moment developed at coordinate 3. And of course, 
due to unit rotation along the coordinate. 3, you have only one value of the support here because it is end, it is MDC. MDC is near end 4EI by 12. It is EI by 3. So, you have all the 9 coefficients now. I have repeated, although you may not be required to calculate this. Once you do that, you can just simply write that K12 is 21, K23 is 32 and complete the problems. So, let us formulate the equation now. Using stiffness relation, general relation is P is equal to K into D. Here it is P1 minus P1L, P2 minus P2L, P3 minus P3L. And the values of the coefficients, I can take out the EI outside the matrix because it is common in all the nine terms. So it is 2 by 3. And EI by 6, it is 1 by 6, 0. So it is 1 by 6. This is 2 by 3. And this one is 1 by 6. And this is 0. And this is 1 by 6, of course. And this is 1 by 3. Coming to the deformation matrix, it is D1, D2 and D3. I simply copied all the values of the coefficients of the columns 1, 2 and 3. I have taken out EI outside the matrix to simplify easily. So here I will put the values directly and transfer them to the right hand side D1, D2, D3 that is equal to or you can put it as EI D1, EI D1, EI D1, D2, D3, 2 by 3, 1 by 6, 0, 1 by 6, 2 by 3, 1 by 6, 0, 1 by 6, 1 by 3, inverse P1 is 0 minus P2L is 266.667 minus term will come that is positive there and P2 minus P2L will comes down to minus 133 there minus of minus that becomes plus 133.333 and P3L is minus plus 240 so it is minus of plus is minus 240.0. So, invert it, multiply with the force matrix, you will get the unknowns or it is like your three linear simultaneous equations, you can solve it. So, EI theta B is on solving that condition, EI theta B comes down to be minus 547. 696 EI theta C is plus 590.765 and EI theta D the last value and D it is 1015.2 of course, we know that the given condition theta A is already 0 because it is fixed. 
once you get these unknowns now the rotations you can easily find the final moments using your basic condition of the slope deflection m a b equal to m f a b plus 2 a by l 2 times theta a plus theta b minus delta if there is a sinking otherwise you can eliminate that delta so let me calculate the final moments m a b m f a b is i think it is minus 480 plus 2 ei by 12 theta a is 0 plus theta b is minus 547.696 for ei you can eliminate because this value consists of ei d1 ei d1 is nothing but ei theta so the value is minus 547 282 kilo newton meter this is the second moment is mba mba is plus 480 two times of theta b 547.696 plus a is 0 so the value is around 297.435 the more the digits the more the accuracy here so mbc mbc is the moment mfbc is 213.333 plus 2 ei by 12 Two times of theta b is minus 547.696 plus theta c. It is plus 590.765. Mbc is 297. Point minus 435. It should be. You can see. the condition compatibility condition satisfies so mba plus mbc equal to 0 let me move to the other value of the same member mcb it is plus 106.667 plus 2 by 12 it is two times of theta c here 590.765 minus of theta b 547.696 mcb is 212.309 and mcd is minus 240 plus 2 by 12 2 times of theta c 590.765 Minus thousand fifteen point three eight two. That is E I theta D. That is equal to. It should be plus two one two three zero nine kilo newton. And you can verify the last one M D C. It will be zero. or you may get some minor values very small values because of the rounding of errors that you can equate it to zero because we know that that support is simple and so it is equal to zero and you can transfer these moments on to the beam now mab is 547.282 anti clockwise negative and here it is clockwise and anti clockwise 297.435 and here also it is clockwise and anti clockwise 212.309 kN meters and of course at d it is equal to 0 so it completes the second problem with the three spans wherein you got this is the maximum problem you can expect in the examination 3 cross 3 
So there will be no more, not more than three degrees of freedom will be considered in the case of question paper setting. So you have to be get ready with these problems. In the next class, I will be dealing with the frames and in the next it will be frames with sway also. Thank you. And the rest of the problem here, sketching the shear force, bending moment, it is similar to your slope deflection, moment distribution or Kani's method. All the steps are same. Thank you.